and we'll start recording. Recording. Okay, we got recording, recording. In five, four, three, two, tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick. Well, hello everyone. It is me, Scott. You know that guy that you occasionally stumble across here on YouTube? And I really hope that a lot of you will occasionally stumble across me here on YouTube because I really think I struck a nerve with a lot of people on the discussion that we had, you know, when we were talking about, you know, Halloween 2018. It truly was a hypothetical question, you know, a what if. And I, I, I there was a viewer in the first, you know, let's talk about Halloween that had a great comment and it inspired me to, to go with it. And obviously inspired a lot of you because I know you're just as passionate, if not more, about Halloween than I am. I mean, I always thought there was no one else back when I was younger, but <laughs> millions of out there prove me wrong every day. So I do apologize if you were very upset and you're watching this video. Believe me, I wasn't trying to upset anybody. It, truly, it really was a hypothetical question. A CGI, Donald Pleasance, Dr. Loomis... So let's just move on. <laughs> let's don't worry about that anymore. I figured this particular video might be a little bit more fan friendly. And yet, maybe some of you are kind of tired of this question. I know I've heard it a lot. Some of us have really done our research, have done our homework on the whole coverall color situation. So when I seen a photo uploaded on Twitter, Nick Castle's Twitter account, I got to thinking, this could be interesting and hopefully not as offensive or upsetting towards others. But before I actually up, you know, show this picture here, um, it was a few months ago, I was invited onto a podcast show. And for the very first time in all these years, something came to mind. Now, there's always the possibility that like I said, people do their homework on this on this franchise. They do, you know they, they get the facts down, and you gotta love them for that. But however, if if I'm wrong about this, or if there actually has been any other individuals that looked into it, let's think about Halloween the original one real quick. We all know that there's been enough individuals that's played the shape, mainly Nick Castle, and then of course Tommy Lee Wallace who I believe does not take as much credit as he should when it comes to that the original Halloween. But we all know that Tommy Lee Wallace was responsible for a very classic scene, and you know, the closet scene with him and Jamie Lee Curtis. Couldn't there possibly be, with the two of them, two different individuals, two different entities, two different human beings, that they could have had their own pair of coveralls, and therefore, just maybe, just maybe, their color walls weren't exactly the same. Well, okay, for example, a lot of individuals feel that the color for the original coveralls that, let's say, Nick Castle was wearing will go with like a olive wood, which is a greenish, grayish color, which also sets off a charcoal gray. Now, of course, when you watch the uh, Halloween on Blu-ray, you do see a lot of charcoal gray. But then again, there's other times you do see a lot of an olive wood green. And then, there, of course, there's other fans that say a navy blue. Now, let's keep in mind, every film, every TV show that's done professionally, at, like say out in Hollywood, when it's done with production, with everything, with the, the, the scoring, the editing, all that, it usually goes to another studio where they obviously specializing in the colorization, you know, the Kodaking and all that. So sometimes that kind of balance off, obviously white balance is crucial even like I try to do it here in all my videos, I try to, but that sometimes can give the illusion for all of us. And that, and that's obviously why for so many years, that's always been a debate on the actual color of those coveralls. So I, myself, I, what do I see? I do see that combination of an olive wood or charcoal. But the funny thing is, I have a closet over here where I have like four pairs, and the majority of them Big Mac, which by the way, J.C. Penny Big Macs are what's are pretty much known as what Nick Castle was wearing, and like an H2, uh, Donald, Donald, sorry, <laughs> Dick Warlock, Donald, I'm still got a Donald Pleasance in my head, Dick Warlock was known to be wearing the uh, Sears Roebuck uh, Spruce Green, 
and that was never really much of a debate on those colors and all that. Anyways, I just thought I'd bring that up here just like I did in that podcast, you know, maybe just because we had two individuals that were truly responsible of the what we've seen on the big screen with the original Halloween. Just maybe the coveralls that they were wearing. And let's keep in mind, they didn't have the biggest budget in the world. They pretty much brought their own wardrobe. So there's possibility with different weathering on, on each particular coveralls that there might have been a little shade difference. And that's probably why at times with the lighting and everything else, it may seem a little different colorization. Grant, there was a lot of daylight there's a lot of nighttime blue lighting and all the other stuff but anyways that's just my theory my thoughts and of course naturally that's what the comment section's for this is a discussion it's open for everyone out there what do you think the actual colors were on the original halloween and of course you know halloween 2 with dick warlock or any other halloween you know obviously every mire has its warlock so Every mire has its warlock. It's been a long day, folks. I really don't. Every mire has its coveralls to wear. Woo! Man, I swear. I don't really drink at all anymore. I'm a coffee person. So, let's get right into this. 2018, we obviously have Nick Castle performing as The Shape again. And in his tweet that he did not that long ago there's an image of nick castle standing next to and this is not like oh my god i can't see this this is going to kind of you know show some of the film it's not it's just a very friendly photo of uh, nick castle standing next to chris nelson obviously the maker of a mask academy award winner and in this photo you could obviously see um you got chris nelson to um that excuse me Yes, Chris Nielsen stating to Nick Castle's right. And in that photo, with the colors that obviously that Chris Nelson on his... And I, I, I can't help but notice, and you correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like Chris, Chris Nelson... Jamie, I need, a, I need some more coffee. Is wearing uh, like a jean jacket, okay? And now traditionally jean jackets, as we all know, are like a... Uh, like a, um, a denim, like navy blue, dirty blue, or different shades of fade. I'm, I'm not someone that's into wardrobe. Heck, I barely buy clothes. But uh, traditionally, jean jackets are like a denim blue. And then when you look at Nick Castle's coveralls there, which has obviously most likely been more custom made since they have more of a wardrobe department now, those are not, and I can tell you right now, but I'm no expert, but from my experience, uh, like say Big Macs, the flap that you see on the left breast area pocket, uh, Big Macs are traditionally on the right, you know, breast pocket. And as you can see here, it's on the left. So this is probably more of a custom made. And the color that I'm seeing with my eye, it looks to be very similar to the jean jacket that Chris Nelson is, you know, colorization. So it's almost like, are these a denim, you know, like a um, pair of a, uh, Coveralls. I was going to say Warlock again, believe it or not. But I, I actually have a couple. Well, no, there's one pair that I have over here to my left that is more of a denim type of a, a coverall. So, uh, yeah, I just thought that was interesting. And, I, you know, of course, as you could tell, my mind races a lot. So I figured I would bring that up in this video and ask you guys, not just in the past, but what color do you see here in this photo? Is it a, like a like a denim navy blue or it doesn't look like it's been photoshopped at all because if you look in the background it's it's pretty much like a, a kitchen obviously it's all white and nothing about this photo seems photoshopped and why would they photoshop a friendly photo well, it's obviously taken from a phone so yeah I just thought that was interesting and be a great thing to talk about in this week's uh, video <laughs> hoping that it wouldn't upset anybody and of course, uh, I'm sure you've all seen that latest photo, and I'll, I'll bring that up as well, of uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, more like a, once again, the like a costume photo, you know, op, you know, that they usually do with her, with her wig and all that. And this is a great photo. It's a nice, you know, portrait black photo with her, and I, I just thought it was a great. And I figured I'd share it with you guys if you hadn't seen it yet, but most likely you have. So yeah, um, 
that's pretty much it. If you know, if you guys like what you see here, like if you're stumbling across this for the first time, or just occasionally catch my videos, and if you hadn't hit that subscribe button yet, um, I would greatly appreciate it, of course, if you did. And naturally, you could hit that bell right there next to it, and that'll notify you when I upload another video similar to this. Or you know, you see these guys behind me. I obviously do others, you know, type of unboxings and. Well, a lot of us that collect these things, we, we love doing those unboxings. So, like I said, you might want to hit that subscribe button if you if you like those things. If you, like I said, occasionally stumble across me, Scott, here on YouTube. So, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that because obviously I've already twisted my words around enough. Wanting to call coveralls, warlocks, and everything else. But hey, it's all good, right? Alrighty. Well, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment. Please comment. I want to know what your thoughts on the colors and everything else. And if you have ever possibly have thought of any other, you know, alternative way that they have done things in the past. I don't know. It's all fun. It's all good. Alrighty. Well, I will most likely catch you guys here soon. Until then, take care and, uh, ooh, happy President's Day. Yeah, some of you have Monday off. I don't. <laughs>